in here, you little... Yo too, what's up man? Today we're back with some more Scary Thomas videos because it's been a while. It's been like a week or two. I don't know how long it's been. I, I haven't counted days, but we're finally back with some more Thomas videos. And I did do some deep diving this time because dude, I was dry on Thomas content. It took me like, it took me a couple hours to find these videos. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start with our first video of the day by Kiran Up. Thomas falls off tracks. And just a heads up, these videos are a little wild. Thomas had been up all night <laughs> oh. in a local park. <gasps> oh he man. Looked dreadful. Dude, Thomas looks oh, horrible. Thomas looks like you've been on the white lightning again. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas oh. chuckled gleefully. There's no need to be rude, Thomas. <laughs> the happy villagers have been waiting for over an hour for you to sober up. Seems and like you're not very friend, fond of I've only had a controller. couple sins, you prick. Dude, what is wrong oh, with Thomas, him? I didn't want it to come to this, but you leave me no choice. I have long feasted on the souls of men. The <laughs> soul of the chain shall satiate my thirst to levels hitherto unknown. My powers come from a dark. You're beyond the tracks, Thomas. Oh! Through the poetry of madness, do justice to the black molasses from which I was birthed. I don't know what the heck that was, but Fat Controller turned into an actual monster. Even though he's already a monster himself for being so cruel and evil in the uh, Thomas and Friends show. Alright, well, that was an unusual video. <laughs> now moving on to Mr. Claus's channel, Shed 17 Thomas Death. Ooh, some little Shed 17 action. Thomas, old oh boy. Thomas had never been the first operation. He hadn't even been second. Oh, what yeah. shed number 17 contained was evidence of several attempts to create a tank engine with Thomas's DNA. Dude, that skeleton These has... These have been early tests made by tracks people on with it. no experience of an experiment on this scale. Ill-planned and unprepared, these procedures had used DNA from the human Thomas and had been as much the real Thomas as the tank engine the world had come to know and love. To us, Thomas the tank engine had been the Thomas we all knew as a boy. Part of the family the whole island's population had known and respected since Wilhelm first arrived. In actuality, this tank engine was no more the real Thomas than all the failed creations made over the 12 months before. Sanders. This Thomas, Thomas had all the human Thomas's memories and experiences. That's he had so learned weird. what Thomas had learned, known who Thomas had known, but so had all the previous failures. Wilhelm and Hans Goetze had had to learn through trial and error how to bring their Thomas back from the dead. The following experiments had not had the same work put into them, oh. resulting in the freak engines and aircraft freak engines. that had developed so many problems on Sodor Island and around the world. In Shed 17, Thomas wouldn't discover who he was, but in fact, who he wasn't. <laughs> You're not a train, Thomas. You used to be a boy. <laughs> there it is. Oh, you saw that? He has like the little funnel on top. How is he still alive? That is so creepy. Oh, he burst it. I always like seeing this scene. So gruesome. It gives me the heebie jeebies, but I like it. <laughs> you had a blowout, man. Thomas blew his back out. No, 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 no. <laughs> Dude, that must be like a true nightmare. Oh. 
This face plate fell off. Behold the one and only experimental Thomas. You had no idea he was only one of many clones. None of us did. But I guess as time passed, we stopped asking all the questions we had at first. This we is were so just glad twisted, our friend bro. was back with us. He could work for us. He became our servant in a way. Someone who drew in the crowds. Helped create jobs. Was eager to work. Thomas always thought of us as his friends. Sadly, over time we came to think of him as just really useful. Oh. Oh, the pain. An agony. Well, that was Shed 17, Thomas Death for you. Moving forward, the next three clips are gonna be by Big Phil Animations. Edward has tires now. Thomas and Friends parody seven. Edward is <laughs> what? a useless old steampunk. <laughs> you should be retired. But he doesn't have tires. I do now. <laughs> How does he have tires? Now I'm going to win the piston car. See you later, guys. Piston car? Hey, that's from cars. He really is a useless old steampunk. The fat steampunk. controller was in there. What? Make it. That was a uh, we the proof. What the? Uh, my dust. Uh, <laughs> what is going on? Hey, that's Sonic. Yeah. Wait a minute. I'm on the blue. This face is pointless <laughs> and terrible. <laughs> oh man, that was the strange crossover. I thought I would have never seen in my life. Our next video is Does Trains Poop? Thomas and Friends parody number six. Can I ask you something? I know it's a bit awkward and disturbing question, but does Don't do it. poo? Why would you uh, ask that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, um, can you check it right now? Oh, but, sir, uh, I don't want to. Come on, James, just, just, just do it. Because controller couldn't be any weirder, right? Come on, please. Dude, face. But... James, I swear to God, if you don't bloody take it, the will to take away your echo to have you pay to blow. Oh, uh, my. Uh, Okay, sir. <laughs> oh. Oh, gosh, no. What the? <laughs> what? He asked, he clearly asked him to poop for him. I was very weird. <laughs> and I guess trains do poop. <laughs> Next we got, does trains have ears? Thomas and Friends parody. Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> Today, I wanted to get loads of troublesome tugs down to the quarry. I don't know afterwards. Get what is he talking about? <laughs> I absolutely have no idea what he's saying. You go. Oh, Just sorry, wandering. the fat controller. I didn't hear you because I have no bloody ears. <laughs> that is true. How do the trains hear every like each other? If there's no ears, where ears are supposed to go? <laughs> and the final clip by. Mr. Luca, Thomas the Existential Engine, Thomas the Tank parody. <laughs> it was a splendid day on the island of Sodor. Oh. The birds were singing, the sky was crystal clear. Thomas and Percy, you've each got to take a freight load of coal to the scrapyard. But sir, why the scrapyard? Well, uh, oh, they gotta Toby go to the scrapyard. Been the same since our terrorists incident at Napford Station. <laughs> Oh, remember the voices in Toby's head? Oh, um, Henry will take him later to the scrapyard so he can finish him. Oh. Meanwhile, I have a few errands to run myself. Uh, cheat on my wife, snort some cocaine. What? Wow, <laughs> how do you feel about that, Thomas? Uh, uh. Pain, Percy. <laughs> All I feel is a constant stream of I pain. I feel you, Thomas. What? what? Can't you see? We live in a world in which our only purpose is to shunt goods and pull coaches. We can't just take a turn for ourselves. Why, our very existence is modern day slavery. If we rebel, it's straight to the fire pit for us all. If only you knew how much I crave a female train's touch. Ooh. Her buffers. <laughs> her couplings. <laughs> what? Oh, God, if only I could. Feel it. 
But instead, I'm here. Just another piece of talking metal. <laughs> oh, Thomas, you cheeky little engine. <laughs> Wait, why do they look like Peter Griffin? <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> that was totally something else, man. All right, you guys. Well, that was the end of these Thomas videos. These weren't typically scary, except for the Shed 17 one. They were more like parodies, as we read on the titles. If you guys have any character recommendations, let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace. Perfect.